So with that, welcome back to 3 News at 5 on this Wednesday, and it has just been another beautiful day. It really has. Matt Rascone with us here. I'm Christy Paul. Jay is on assignment. We're so grateful to have you with us here. And, and if you're with us regularly, you know that Jay and I are around, from uh, around the Sandusky area. And I'm always so proud of those hometown roots. I love my town of Bellevue and the people that are in it. They are just good, good humans. And this mall in Sandusky, I might add, is um, one in which I visited just a few times growing up. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a few, just a few. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's best known for uh, Cedar Point, of course, Sandusky out there, but and for Lake Erie shores and islands. Uh, but there's also a very unique organization that calls the area home. It is one that attracts Star Trek de devotees from all over the world. Who knew? Who I didn't know this. Our Mike Polk Jr. had the chance to visit the new home of the International Federation of Trekkies and learn about their mission. Take a look. Space, themed charity organizations, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Three News Enterprise. Our mission to explore strange new worlds, to boldly go to the Sandusky Mall. Somewhere in here, past the food court, nope. Past the Aeropostale, hold on. Wait, it's here, here. Nestled between the Champ Sports and the Books A Million stands the world headquarters of the International Federation of Trekkers Incorporated. It's an organization of Star Trek enthusiasts that devotes time to charitable causes. But how did this happen? And why are we in Sandusky? Fortunately, I found a high ranking officer to issue me a status report. I'm Russ Haslidge, president of the Federation. The Federation is a, a nonprofit organization, the creation of Gene Roddenberry and myself. For those who don't know, Gene Roddenberry, the creator of this whole series. I contacted him after I became a fan because I didn't like what was available out there for fans. I said, what do you think a true Star Trek fan organization should do? He said, no, they go places and help people. So that's what we should do in this new federation. We opened up on June 1st, 1984. Chapters all over the world now that focus on the needs in each area. And if we can help somebody, we're gonna do it. Star Trek is a global phenomenon. How did this end up here in this Sandusky Mall? The federation started in Northern Ohio and all of the chapters are powered from us here. Uh -huh. Out in LA right now, they're working with the floods. We've got a chapter in Zimbabwe that's an orphanage. There's a chapter in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. Interesting. Here, we just delivered our third adaptive bike. We would fill the Galileo, which is one of our vans, full of water to take down East Palestine. Russ says the mission of the Federation is rooted in the philosophy of the series itself. Their cause is noble, to be sure, and their base of operations is a Star Trek fan's dream, with no shortage of memorabilia. Just to save time, pretty much anything I see that I don't understand, just assume that's a Star it's Trek. It's a Star Trek reference. Okay, great, thank you. As I learned on my space tour of the facility, the Federation space is already impressive. But Russ says they're just getting started with new installations in progress and plans to expand. She's 13 and a half feet long. And when she's done, she will go right up here. Oh. She'll be zooming up oh, into cool. space. Inspired by the space moment, I decided to go all in and join the cause. Guys, I'm just gonna go change real fast. <laughs> That's better. All right. In the Star Trek series, the prime directive of the Federation states that starship fleets are not to interfere in the lives of other cultures, even to help them. But much like the crew of the Enterprise, this squad tends to bend the rules a bit, lending a helping hand to those in need when they can. And of course, it's also just fun to hang out in this world for a while. Attention all decks! From all of us here at the Federation headquarters in Sandusky, to all of you, may you live, live long and, and prosper. prosper. This is Mike, patrolling Sandusky for Klingons for 3 News. I do have an exciting update for everybody. <laughs> and that is that while leaving, I can't see with these on. Uh, while leaving there, I actually did apply and I am now oh, a, oh, yeah, an official yeah. Federation member, everybody. Yeah. There, oh, you got yes. it up there, perfect, thank you. Yes, I was gonna beautiful. Say, you need a frame for that. I did, yeah, so that was, that was a, a huge honor. Um, also, our producer Meg in the booth just informed me that by wearing a red shirt, I have doomed myself. Uh, I, I forgot about that piece <laughs> of Star Trek trivia. Right so. when you get off the Sorry, set. mom and dad. I know. So um, if you're if you're wearing red, you're expendable. That's that's a, what that's the term. It'd always be like Spock and Kirk would be going down to the planet for a mission, and they'd be like, "And we need one more guy," and they're like, "Daniel, come with us." In a red shirt, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I'm gonna die," and he did all the time. <laughs> just fell up, fell into space. But I that's not gonna happen to me because yes. I'm protected by my fellow Federation members. 
So I'm, I'm not oh worried gosh, about I it. I love it. Now, you had something interesting that you noticed in that yeah, particular package. Right. Why don't you tell this, everybody? You know what's really sad? It shows how often I went to that mall. Mm -hmm. But I, I asked you, is that the old express store? <laughs> because I, I used to work there. <laughs> And I, but it was it was one of the stores that there you, that was very deep. You used you know, to it was work. Very long. You used to work at the Star Trek Federation gathering place. Yeah. That's fantastic. Who knew you had this connection? Well, uh -huh. then do I get one of those? I wonder. I think too? you have. You definitely deserve that. Right. It is funny when you're in there. They still have like the the changing room there. So um, oh, of course. But they're using it as like a phaser thing now. Oh but my gosh. At the time, but you can. It still looks kind of like an express for men. But yeah. it's very impressive what they've done in there, and they keep adding on. It to looks it. like they've got all kinds of great memorabilia. It's fun. There. Yeah, fun. Weird little thing to go check out. I recommend everybody go see If it. I get one of these, I'm just saying, can I please have a, a yellow shirt? Yeah, she deserves <laughs> it. <laughs> she deserves yeah. it. Something else. Somebody's got to stay on this that newscast. That was so fun. I know it was, right? <laughs> and they're like, Thanks Thanks for great job, Mike. Congratulations. Awesome. Hey, it's it's my honor. Hold on. Wait, I got this. Like this? There it is. Right? Oh, I can't. You, yeah, you imagine can, you if they were it. separated. There we go. We did Sheldon it. has nothing on you. Mm. Nothing. Oh, wow. There we go. There we go. Ooh, very Pretty. good. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> no problem. Junior. That's what we're here for.